Along with extra time and lower instances of unpredictable weather, there are a variety of benefits that come with fall ESN application. Learn more at smartnitrogen.com. Bernard Tobin here on Real Agriculture. Today I'm talking with Rob Miller from BASF. Rob, how's it going? Great. How are you doing, Bern? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I want to talk weed control. Now, you've got a new weed control product for corn, Certain Herbicide. Um, tell us about it. Yeah, for the 2020 season, we are excited to launch Certain Herbicide, which is a residual herbicide that we can go pre and post in corn. The two active ingredients in Certain is peroxisulfone, group for 15 residual chemistry and as group 14 safu fenacil yeah. so it's what makes your chain unique is that it is micro encapsulated technology a first of its kind tell us about that technology um, and, and how it works so what happens with the micro encapsulated technology the safu fenacil component which is also known as aragon or heat lq in the west it's known as a burn down herbicide whether it's applied in the spring or applied as a harvest aid when we encapsulate it, it's a solid encapsulated safu fenacil. So since it's solid encapsulated, it's combined in a formulation, a liquid formulation, and that will allow us to apply it both pre-emergence in corn and post-emerge up to that three leaf stage. So we are really excited to have that flexibility to go pre and post. Now talk about the application window here. Uh, you mentioned pre and post um, and, and that flexibility. The flexibility, so we've refined this formulation over the last 10 years, working at some of our research farms across Canada as well as in the US. It's fertilizer friendly, it's a nice convenient liquid formulation and it can also be tank mixed with several other labeled herbicides applied in that same window post-emerge. Now we're here at your Mary Hill Research Station. You've been running some trials. Um, take us through a couple of these things. Um, you know, what are we seeing? How has it performed? Yeah, so if you look at this particular trial, this was sprayed at that two leaf stage. So right around that critical weed-free period. This is this first treatment is straight glyphosate. And you can see that there's a number of weeds that are present here. We have some lambs quarters, we have some pigweed species, a lot of heavy grass pressure with the amount of rainfall that we've had this year at a lot of these sites, you know, we're starting to see those secondary flushes. What makes Certain unique is when you go over to this particular plot, you get that residual endurance. You see the combination of that group 14 and 15 chemistries providing that season long residual control. And now we're into September, end of September, the crop's starting to dry down. That's where you really see that true benefit of not allowing those annual weeds going to seed. Tell us more about tank mixes. Uh, you know, how does it play? So since it is encapsulated, that will actually limit the burn down of the safu fenacil component. So if you are applying in a post-emerge situation, especially when the weeds are emerged, you are going to be relying on that tank mix partner. So for the most part, it's gonna be tank mixed with glyphosate, but also you can tank mix it with a product like Marksman if you wanna sharpen up that activity on some of those post-emerge weeds and up to that three leaf stage and also have some better activity on some of those perennial weeds like sow thistle and pride that multiple modes of effective action. Mm. Hey, um, what about Quebec here? I know you've got some Quebec considerations. Yes, for Quebec where they do have some atrazine restrictions, that's where we see a really nice benefit for certain herbicides. Since it is really a more of a post-emerge market, you have that flexibility to go pre as well as post and tank mix it with a product like Callisto or Ingenia as well in that early post time frame up to that three leaf stage. Final question, Robin, that is, you know, fit on the farm, fit for growers. You know, you're talking to a lot of growers this fall about this herbicide. What are you telling them about, you know, uh, you know, how they can incorporate it and how it fits on the farm? Definitely. So we've done a lot of research trials, as I mentioned, over the last 10 years. We've done it on uh, resistant water hemp sites with Peter Sikma at the University of Guelph Ridgetown campus at a lot of those locations uh, where we have that residual endurance, especially residual activity on the pigweed species the lambs quarters and eastern black nightshade as well and we also have that follow crop flexibility uh, depending on the tank mix partner as well so if you do have uh, some ip soybeans in that rotation or even some dry beans that's where it might be a really nice fit if you're trying to target some of those problem weeds and having that flexibility to have that tank mix partner like uh, like a marksman or an ingenia you can also get some of those perennial weeds that come up early in the season good stuff rob uh, appreciate you making some time for real agriculture thanks for having me